You know how I should definitely start this review? Let's go say Candyman five times in the mirror. Okay, here we go. In the bathroom, in the mirror. It's time to say Candyman five times. Well, I already said it once, so Candyman, Candyman. Fuck this. I'm, I'm not doing that. That movie scared me too much. Key! Yeah, that was a that was a big no on my part. I only got to three and I chickened out. Guys, seriously, when I say this, Candyman 2021 is not just a phenomenal film. It is absolutely incredible, terrifying experience that had me sweating through my shirt. And the fact that I knew... The second I walked out of this, I was not going to be able to say Candyman five times in front of a mirror. Ever. Ever. And if anyone tries to do it in front of me, I will walk right out that door. What's going on, buddy? Welcome back to a brand new non-spoiler review for Candyman. This is, of course, the spiritual sequel to the original horror film back in 1992 and returns to the now Chicago neighborhood where the legend all became. Now, this, of course, stars the likes of Yahya Abdul-Mantin II, Tiana Paris, and, of course, Coleman Domingo. This also is written and directed by Nia DaCosta, who did a fantastic little film called Little Woods, which you should all definitely go check out, and she'll be directing the next Candyman. Captain Marvel movie. I have been out of my mind really curious about this movie. I'm not the biggest fan of the original Candyman. Like, I like it. I think it's good. And I love, like, the messaging, the themes, and in general, just the origin of Candyman himself. So, going into this, I knew that they were going to have to raise the bar. I would never got super excited for this. The only thing that really had my interest in this was the cast and, of course, Nia DaCosta's whole entire direction from Little Woods and wanting to see what she can do now inside here. And guys, I'm blown away. Like, I, I'm flabbergasted by how fantastic this film is. How incredibly made it is. Visually, on a visual standpoint, this is one of the best horror films of the year. But also when it comes down to a psychological nature and the tension of it all, it had me on the edge of my seat not knowing what was going to happen next. This is only like a 90 minute movie and it keeps you there the entire time. From the beginning scene to the very end, you are locked in and you, again, you will walk out never wanting to say Candyman ever again. I will say this and let me put this preface before this. I want to give a shout out to my friend 3C Films and Pay or Wait. I don't know if the reviews are up yet. I'll probably link them down below or up above. Also saw the movie and they weren't the biggest fan of it either so it seems like this may be having a varying degree of views some people seem to love it because some people i've talked to absolutely love it and other people are kind of falling into that it might have felt a little bit flat for them of course before we get any further into this review as well make sure guys to hit that like and subscribe button if you enjoy content like this i do this over here on a daily basis and i just love talking movies so if you love doing the same you're probably in the right place so make sure to hit that like and subscribe button notification bell on and comment down below your guys's overall thoughts when it comes down to the candy man again i'm not the biggest fan of the original i like it i think it's good but it never kept my attention it's not something i ever go to every single year i know it's huge for a lot of people and i know this film is going to be a major player for a lot of people and their hypeness of it all and i think one of the things i was really curious to see is when it says a spiritual sequel how actually connected is it to the original one and i'll say this i've only seen the original one once i don't remember everything about it but the way that it weaves and connects to that original story and as well the mythology of Candyman, I found to be brilliant. But also throwing in there, I think if you've never seen the original Candyman, it is still even a great film that now if you go back and rewatch that first one, you're going to experience it in a whole other light. The twist and turns in this story, honestly, again, are part of the reason that I was stuck on edge of my seat the entire way through. Nia DaCosta's directing in here is also a fabulous part of that as well because visually this movie's impressive you've seen some of it in the trailers with the puppeteering and even the way that they handle Candyman. the whole thing in the mythology of him always appearing in the mirror is a big aspect of this and the way that they play around with it just got right under my skin you're always looking in every little reflection to see if you can see him and when you maybe get a glimpse of him it makes you nearly jump right out of your seat even some of the kills in here because of course Candyman it gets those brutal kills they are fantastic some of them you know I think some people might have a little bit of an issue of not being able to see the full thing and you know them being a little bit too artistic with it i loved it i love how they handled some of the kills and it really much kept it up to your mind it kind of reminded me of the original texas chainsaw massacre where they didn't show all the kills it would be more up to your interpretation and i love how Candyman was able to influence that and put that more inside here it wears it on its sleeves it knows what it's doing and there is though one kill that it shows I mean, there's a lot of kills in here that they show that are freaking awesome, but there is one kill in here 
that is still engraved into the back of my head and it probably happens midway through the movie and I could not stop thinking about it the rest of the movie. It's n probably the best moment in the entire film and that doesn't go as far to say is that the rest of the film sucks. No, the rest of the film's great. It's incredible. But that one moment in particular just had my jaw on the floor. And even adding in, I love how Nia DaCosta didn't just play with the slasher realm or even the psychological realm. She played with the body horror realm as well. She mixes all these different versions of horror and plays around in that field in such a catastrophic way that, again, keeps you on edge. It's such an intense movie. And it's one that doesn't have the jump scares that jump out at you and make you jump. They make you think. They stay with you. And I can't stop thinking about the film. When something can get truly under my skin like this, that's when I become very impressed. And again, Nia DaCosta's directing needs a giant standing ovation. <laughs> So let's talk about the performances in here because Mantine the second I have absolutely loved him in everything that he shows up in I still believe he should have been nominated for an Oscar last year for trial of the Chicago 7 and hands down here the psychological nature that his character goes through in here is phenomenal and once again Tiana Paris who I was a major fan of in WandaVision I can't wait to see her in the Marvels she is superb in here as well and really much the whole entire cast is great Nathan Stewart Jarrett and even Coleman Domingo they they all bring their a game but this is mantine the second's show and really much nia DaCosta's show as a director and as a writer and giving all of this balance to it all i mean she is the star of this entire film i think right after this i i walked out and i got so much more excited for the next captain marvel film because i cannot wait to see what she does with that shout out must be given to the cinematography as well because that all just adds to the mood I, there are again certain sequences in here that i'm just still how did they pull that off that's that's a master class work to pull off all the mystery and all the stuff with the mirrors and just to make it feel also seamless and suck you right into the atmosphere of this movie it, it's just great like i said the tie-ins as well to the entire first film i found to be very clever and the way that they did it it really worked now as certain things come about while i still think this film is incredible i had one little nitpick with it and i think the film is actually too short it's a little bit of a shocker for me because usually i walk out of film and i'm like oh that was a little bit too long now this movie is only literally 90 minutes long not even even including the credits maybe the credits add a couple more minutes the film itself i feel like actually should have been longer there are certain reveals and again a lot of twists and turns that happen throughout the entire story that i wish they would have sat on and marinated just a tiny bit more yes it has that fast pacing it continuously goes and goes and goes and that makes for a really excellent paced film but i do wish that certain moments especially since it leaned on the psychological tension a lot I wish it would have dove into some of those moments a little bit deeper and there is one backstory to a certain character that I actually wish they seriously should have given a little bit more development to because it feels like it's just there to be there to kind of be like oh this this is why they care. No, there should have been a little bit more development to that, and even a couple of the side characters that definitely needed that too. One of the things that I still love about Candyman is its themes and messages and the way that it really much relates to our entire world. Candyman was relevant back in the day, and it's still relevant today, but they do it in such a way that fits inside its story and mannerisms. Man, oh man, the ending of this movie is so satisfying. Of course, guys, Candyman 2021 is the spiritual sequel that many fans of the original Candyman have been waiting for. The cast is great the kills are amazing and especially one in particular will be ingrained into the back of my head visually this film is a masterpiece and even though i had some slight issues with character development for certain characters and even backstories to them and wanting a little bit more development on them the story here has twists and turns that will keep you on edge the entire way through the horror is mixed in with body horror slasher psychological it's all there and nia da costa is truly the star of this i can't wait to see what she does next with the marvels and truly much Candyman is the best horror film of 2021 so far so with all that said i'm going to give Candyman an a you guys once again for clicking on this again make sure to comment down below your guys's thoughts let's have that great discussion down there hit that like and subscribe button and just as a reminder guys if you feel different that's totally fine and i can't wait to hear your guys's thoughts down below but of course if you guys are wanting to see movies early like me make sure to head on over to sandwich on films on how to see films early and of course it's a big thing to you and a big thing to my patreon supporters because without you i would not be able to do this so of course until next time stay classy